We are up bright and early this morning to go and see a man about a window. If you're new to this channel, we're James and Sarah, also known as The Whole World or Nothing. We used to be full-time backpackers, exploring the world and writing about our travels in our blog. And then the world changed. We got repatriated from Peru and found ourselves back in the UK at a loose end. So we decided to do a van conversion. Make sure you hit subscribe now so you can join us in this series as we share the highs and many lows of converting an old Mercedes Sprinter panel van into our dream home on wheels. Last time, we finally bit the bullet and did something we'd been worried about doing since the very start of our van build. We cut not one, but two massive holes in our roof and installed our Max Air fan and roof light. Hyped up by our success, we decided we were ready to cut some more holes and get our windows installed. So we are putting two windows in the van. Um, one of them is a little trickier than the other, it's quite fiddly. So it only cost 40 quid, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, not very much anyway for the place where we're getting it from to fit it. So we're just driving down there this morning for some reason we made an appointment at eight o'clock in the morning i don't know why <laughs> but yeah we're just on our way down there now for them to fit it the company we bought this window from is called van windows direct and we'd highly recommend them as mentioned the only reason we didn't fit it ourselves was because they had an offer on at the time we bought it which meant that fitting was only 30 quid extra and as they're professionals who know exactly what they're doing it was in within a couple of hours so it saved us a huge amount of time and seemed like a no-brainer but as you're about to see the other window we did do ourselves so today putting a window in here isn't it i'm gonna cut the hole around there put some glue on pop it on there's a bit more to it than that The first step was to drill holes around the edge of the area we needed to cut out. By the way, the most important thing when you're cutting holes in the van isn't anything to do with making sure that they're the right size or anything like that. It's very needs. You can buy a new door, you can buy a new van, but if you get a piece of metal in your eye, you can't buy a new eyeball. As you can probably hear, we ran into some problems with cutting the holes, which we thought were down to the cordless drill not being powerful enough. We later discovered it was actually a completely blunt hole saw bit, but we changed to a wired drill and had a bit more success even with the blunt bit. Boom! Hey, those little metal filings are really hot. Once we'd cut all the holes, we played a massive game of join the dots using a jigsaw. We were a little bit worried about cutting this hole at first, but it's actually really easy to do from the inside as the panel has a ready-made edge for you to cut up to, so it's virtually impossible to go wrong. So what's just happened? The blade has snapped clean off. Well, I say snapped, I think it's more melted actually. <laughs> it was really <laughs> hot when it came off, so I'm gonna have to change the blade. Once that was out, we filed down the edges to neaten it up and get it ready for painting. So we've got a little problem in that there's loads of tiny metal filings in there that we're trying to get out but the vacuum's just not sucking them out for some reason so we're trying to come up with a different idea for how we can do that. So we'll see if this works. No. Not shifting them? It's not doing anything. Oh dear. And C? What's plan C? Magnet. Okay. I can't really find any 
but there are some on the fridge. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be powerful enough. We'll give it a go. Stop it. So what's plan B? Um, oh, I've got another idea. What about if we blow them out? Yeah, that could work. And surprisingly, it did, although it was extremely slow. So if you've got any suggestions on how to do it better, then please drop us a comment down below with your ideas. Next up, we painted the bare metal edges with rust-proof hammerite. Once the hammerite was dry, it was time to put the trim on. Now this was actually probably the hardest part of the whole installation because the panel has a double rim but the gap between the two was extremely small which made it difficult to get the trim between them. So after pressing it in as far as we could we used the rubber mallet to make sure it was in solid. Okay, so that is the trim on. Yep. Now we need to actually fix the window on. How are you feeling about that? Uh, a little bit nervous, but it should be all right. We've watched the video, stick it on, innit? it? We bought this window from a company called Van Pimps and also purchased a window bonding kit that has everything you need to install it. This includes a primer that you paint along the edge you're going to stick the window to. And this crazy sticky adhesive that secures the window to the van. How's it looking? It is looking really good. Uh, the only thing is, the opening's at one end. I don't particularly want to just drag it out at one end, so I'm going to get some scissors and cut down it. Whoa, that's great. Also included in the kit is this window cleaning wipe, which you use just before you're about to put the window on. Grease on that. It works though. It works. So proud of us for today. It's been a good day. After letting it dry overnight, all that was left to do was give it a good clean. And we were done. And that's it for this week, dudes. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Come and have a chat in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, then you know what to do. And click that bell button whilst you're there so you get notified every time we post a new video. Join us next week when we're going to be finishing our insulation, doing a bit of flossing and installing our vapour barrier. <laughs>